So yeah, technical way. So he has a two on one here, right? First, get this wrist, push this off, and lock in here and here. So we lock at the lat and my elbow. And now I catch, I shimmy him down, and I reach for my shim. Shimmy, get tighter and tighter. And now when I feel like I can almost lock a triangle, I let go of his head. See, I let go with my left arm, and I lock over his two arms. And now I start to collect this arm and bring it over his head. Okay, we'll start with that. Yeah, that's, that's a better way of explaining it. It was like, you, you take his back and then bing bong. And then you and fucking bing bong, <laughs> Joe Byron. <laughs> All right, so we're here. I have. Is, well, so let's go back a set. Let's seatbelt. You fall to the opposite side. Yeah, but no, no, no. Fall, fall on the side. Body triangle. Good. Okay, so now he has two hands on your strangle arm. You push your strangle arm in deeper. No, no. Hey, you use this wrist like you just make a fist and curl, and you push this. Yeah, that's it. Now you reach for his lat over here and your elbow here. Yeah, keep. <laughs> Tightening that up, like yeah, you always cinch it in. Yeah, that's it. Now a little, little bit of a bridge, a little bit of an extension. Good. Now you start to catch his shoulder with your right hamstring. You start to feed him down into that direction. So as you push with your right knee, bring your left knee up. You see how he starts to fall? Do it again. Do a bunch of little movements. You see how he's falling into that space there? Good. Okay, now we see how these fingers can now reach your shin. Reach and crawl up to your ankle. And now you can almost lock a triangle. You let go of his head. Let go of his head and now lock over his over his two wrists. Yeah, try and lock. And now Yeah, you wanna lock over his wrist, but you wanna lock to figure four. Figure four, right? So now to let go let go of his shit. Yeah, that's it. Now bring his two hands up. Yeah, okay. Now here, you see how you you have space here? Shimmy him down, that same movement. Okay. Let him fall deep. Yeah, now it's a cleaner triangle. Good. Okay, now you bring two hands over his head. So I like one, no, no. One here. And one. Okay. Now, a little bit of a bridge. And you go to that side. And now lock your feet up on top. Good. And again, shimmy out. See how you can't lock a clean triangle? Shimmy, shimmy out. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Good, okay, so now we can either strangle here, or if we can't get the strangle, his hands are connected. Okay, we go rear naked grip around the wrist. Break his grip, yeah, hold on tight, hold on tight. Rear naked around the wrist. Then start to, yeah, but we want to collect this wrist, right? So we break the grip, and now two hands on this wrist. Good, and now put the, turn, turn, turn. No, no, stay here, stay here. Turn his wrist. No. Turn his wrist like this, so the point of his elbow is as close to your hip as possible. So turn, turn, turn. Now two hands up at the wrist, up here, yeah. See where his elbow is pointing, that's where you have to break. That's brutal. Fuck yeah. Maybe one more time. Bitch faster. Body triangle. This goes in. Got my lat. Elbow. Grab your shin. Let go of the head. <laughs> Shimmy again. This is wrong, right? This is yeah. It's not. It's not the right way to lock the triangle yet. Okay, here, can I do that him once more? Here, we get our grip. Now, see, I'm, I'm using this ankle here to push. Yeah. See how I, he falls down every time? Now I keep this ankle up and I lock either under or over his, his grip here. Usually his hands are connected, so usually I lock over. So I grab my shin. I like, see how I let go of his head? Touch. The shin you're grabbing is the one going underneath. Yeah, that's the one going over the grip and underneath. Okay? Yeah. And then now, now you grab your shin. Put that ankle over his wrist. And now put your right knee over your left. Yeah, yeah. And now keep shimmying back. Keep shimmying back. 
Yeah, that's it, that's it. Good, now reach with your right hand around the bicep and take everything to the other side and switch your ankles, switch your legs. Yeah, and shimmy again, see how you, yeah, that's it. Yeah, now turn his wrist. This feels wrong. This way, this way. No, no. This way. Keep, keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Try and get this elbow facing this head. Yeah, the last part's a little fucking weird. Yeah. Here. Okay, so you have this triangle. Okay, see how his elbow is like pointed up like this? Okay, I want to first break the grip. And I turn, look, I turn his wrist. And I adjust. And now his elbow is pointed into my hip. See his elbow here is pointed into my hip. Now I can break off my hip instead of up here where he has room yeah now he has room to turn it's it's a pain in the ass like good good guys are not gonna tap there they're gonna like if they're slack in their arm they're gonna rotate out it's fucking hard to finish what right. kind of uh you're applying triangle pressure while you're doing this yeah right? for sure and, yeah and it's not a squeeze it's a slide yeah, you have to just get a clean triangle. If your triangle is like this, it's, it's not a can strangle. Can you talk to me about the, about the actual squeeze of the triangle? Yeah, here. So, if I get a triangle on the side. Like, so, like, look, let's say, let's say we're here. This is like a, this is a shitty triangle. Okay, because there's space here where my hamstring is. I, I want basically my knee, like, flush with his throat here. Like, not even paper can fit through. So, I want to take this hip and drag it back and rotate and then push with my left, with my right thigh. I push my, I, I push his shoulder and his head basically into the hamstring of this leg. And now here, very light pressure, we're gonna get. Well, what, what's the pressure? You're curling your the, legs back? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm basically doing this, but see how there's space here? So this amount of tension is not gonna do anything. But if I just touch the skin to his neck, this is already strangling. See, so you have to straighten your leg so it's touching, and then it's such an easy strangle. Versus guys do this. See how there's space here? My skin isn't touching now. It, yeah, he can he can last, right? So I want to straighten and bring my knee basically to his ear. That's like a good indicator. And now there's way less slack. It's gonna take like no effort to strangle. Think about you want like this skin of this hamstring like right here under his jaw. All right, you wanna go for it? You wanna get started? Yeah, now try and get your left ankle, yeah, over his grip. Yeah. Yeah, and always fix your triangle. Always dig that toe in deeper. Yeah, it's okay. Lock to the other side now. Good. And now, now look. See how this space is here? So just loosen it up. Loosen it up. Just to understand it. Push this hip back. Push it back. Push it back more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fucking tighter strangle right there. Yeah. Keep trying, like keep trying, yeah.